Hi everyone, it's Lauren from Leap at Lillian Marrero Library and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a special Halloween at home craft. I'm going to show you how to make a lava lamp jack-o'-lantern with supplies that you might have at home or you could easily find in a store. Let's do it. For this craft, you'll need vegetable oil, an empty glass jar, a black permanent marker, red and yellow food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer tablets. First, you're going to use a black permanent marker to draw a jack-o'-lantern face on the outside of your jar. Make sure before you do any drawing on your jar to take off the labels and clean the surface of your jar. To easily take off the labels, you can soak your jar in dish soap and warm water for about five minutes and then peel the labels off. Fill your jar a third of the way full with water. Now add red and yellow food coloring to make their water orange. This took just one drop of red and two drops of yellow. Next, fill the jar the rest of the way full with vegetable oil. The water and oil will not mix together because oil is less dense than water and will float on top of water. Finally, drop in your Alka-Seltzer tablet. The bubbles created by the tablet dissolving in the water will float up through the oil, making a lava lamp effect. You can keep dropping in more tablets to see it again. The way this works is that the Alka-Seltzer tablets are made of aspirin, citric acid, and baking soda. This will react with the water on the bottom of the jar. When the tablet mixes with the water, it will make carbon dioxide gas bubbles, which will stick to water droplets. These bubbles of gas and water are less dense than the oil, so they'll float to the top of the jar. When they get to the top, the bubbles will pop, releasing the carbon dioxide gas and allowing the water which is more dense than oil, to sink back to the bottom. This will all create the effect of a lava lamp. Hope you enjoyed the craft and have a happy Halloween.